morning cool adventure happening this morning so i'm in the avid uh Derek is in the stenson he just got his uh man tires put on so we're just gonna go the river's still low it's perfect conditions right now and we're gonna go see uh what all kind of sandbars we can land this morning my old temp is up you just let me know when you're ready all right i'm waiting on mine to come on up good thing about only having two and a half quarts in here is it don't take long to get hot <laughs> that's right Gotcha. This uh, crisp morning air makes the avid climb real nice. Yeah, she got on out of here this morning. I saw her standing up. Looks like the wind is out of the northwest, so we may end up trying to land from the south to the north. You ever look at the app called Wendy? I saw where you actually shared it in one of yours, or you were talking about it, but no, I have not ever looked at it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So you can pull up like any destination on the map, drop a pin, and it'll show you what the winds are doing. We well, should go buzz Chris and wake his butt up. He said he, he had to deliver turkeys this morning. Oh, goodness gracious. A one trip with us, and he got too famous and had to ditch us. That's typically how that zone operates. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I'm gonna start circling down. I'm gonna try to approach it from the north and see what the wind feels like. <laughs> Ooh, she's pretty this morning. Yeah, it is. It's cold. Sounds like Derek's dropping down in the river too. Man, the river is peaceful, quiet, smooth. Oh, here it comes. Woo, beautiful. <laughs> what? I came in. Dude, I, I said on camera, I was like, Oh, that's beautiful. That looked perfect. I bounced the snot out of oh, it. Oh, I did too, but that's all right. The, uh, when I didn't know, I was like, oh crap, this ain't the right bar. That was perfect, man. Yeah. I think your tail wheel hit the water. When right? you land it, I think your tail wheel hit the water. <laughs> Got our first bar out of the way. And uh, Derek did great. That was a good landing. He thought it was a little bumpy, but it actually turned out really good.
I tried to hit it. I knew I was going to touch the water a little bit. But I was like, I just want to touch the edge of it to help it get me slowed down some. Because <laughs> uh, that's the kind of problem. Was the first two times I was, I lost my speed too early. Uh huh. The second time, I did what I said I shouldn't do. Yep. I tried to cut it short and make quick adjustments and I come in too fast. So that's when I did another go around. I said, all right, this time I'm gonna take my time, do it right. And uh, I wanted to land short for the sake of that water using it, but I didn't want to hit that style up there. So nonetheless, that was a cool one. That was good work. <laughs> We knew above the tree line coming in um, that the wind was blowing kind of from the north, northwest, but down on the ground, it was, it's been calm. So we're thinking we're making the pilot decision. We're gonna start landing to the north since it feels like the wind is picking up just a little bit. Got some turkey. They're gonna probably not too happy with us this morning if they're sitting in the deer stand. Yeah, we've been, <laughs> I have flown over like a sandbar with deer in it and they don't pay you any attention. Well, the one y'all landed the other day with the bucks that you were watching yeah, them in the yeah. bucks. Yeah, they, uh, they didn't care nothing about me being on there either. Of course, of course he had a different mission that day. He wouldn't, he <laughs> wouldn't worry about else in mind. Yeah, he said, I don't care if I get shot. <laughs> we're gonna take off into the wind, taking off north and work our way back down. But this, in my opinion, there is what it's all about. That's right. This is why I got the Avid right here. Well, and that's why we bought the old Stinson. That's right. Derek's just like me, had a Cherokee 180. And it's for sale, by the way, anybody that wants it. Yeah, yeah, and it's nice too, no, do no joke. I mean, look at him out here playing in the back country. Who would have thought that Georgia had this kind of back country available for us to play in? Of course, me and Derek are lucky because we get backyard. this in our backyard. <laughs> which is below cruise and I'm at 90 miles an hour. <laughs> Getting it. I might break the sound barrier in a second. He took off and flew beside my wing for about uh, 500 feet or so. That was awesome. Boy, don't have it look sick down there in the old river. <laughs> She's at home. You want to uh, be or do a low pass on the or roll it, and then we'll land it and wait on Andy there. Yep, let's do it. I didn't get any mud flinging up or on my tires. Alright, you want to land at first or you want me to? Uh, I'll circle in and land. I don't, well, where are you at? I'm down river. Come on up. I ain't, I ain't going to be no factor of you. I, I got you inside. I'm already at that next bar. Okay, I see you. Alright, I'm coming up river now. Yep, I got my eyes on you. You say stay to the left of it? Yep, stay to the left. Alright, I got eyes on you too. <laughs> Ooh, two on the bar. Here comes Andy. Coming in for number three. I'm gonna catch him real quick. Change. 
continues now. We got the old carbon cuff flying with us now. <laughs> the big boys have arrived. <laughs> cheating, man. That was cheating. It is cheating, man. <laughs> I was like, I think he's going to hover and just stop. That was too cool. Hey. Hey, man, the uh, carbon cub is basically the gold standard of backcountry flying. And uh, first time I've ever been flying with one, <laughs> it lands and takes off super quick. So I guess when I win the lottery, that'll be, uh, you'll know. Uh, I might come in and just drag the tires and take back off. Well, you go ahead. Slippity, dippity, slippity, dippity, let's go! Climb, avid climb. She's going home to heaven, boy. All right, Eddie, I'm to the right of you. I'm, I'm off the river. All right, I'm going to make a left turn right here. Down the river, I got all y'all inside. Looking out for each other, where you hear us always giving out our position checks, just being safe, making sure that everybody knows where the other one is at. Yeah, I'm about your uh, six o'clock. I got you inside. I'm just following you. And the one thing I have to be careful of following this carbon cub is, as small as the Avid is and as lightweight, is the weight turbulence from just that dirty stole wing uh, scraping through the air will make it difficult for me to, to fly. So I stay far enough back to stay out of his weight turbulence. This one is at about 12,000 feet. I'm gonna land this one. All right, Andy, I'll come back at you then. Brian, you gonna land it right here? I just landed behind Andy. It's a little rough there, not much. I took it down right there at the water though. Alright, y'all be safe. Have a good one. I'm going to head back to the farm. <laughs> hey, what a cool adventure this morning. How many times have I told y'all on this channel that's the unplanned adventures that are the most fun? And now, I knew that Derek and I were going flying and I was stoked about that and that was awesome. And then before you know it, here's a carving cub uh, landing the sandbars with us and that obviously my dream aircraft. So. Uh, Real stoked about that. I hope you enjoyed this backcountry adventure, and uh, as usual, I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>